In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your microphone audio on PC. This is a free and simple solution, so here's how you would do it. So we're going to use Audacity to record the audio. So go to Google and just type in Audacity. It's a free audio recorder and it's what I use to record my audio for all of my YouTube videos. So go to audacityteam.org, it'll be the first one in Google. You can then go ahead and download it for free. Now, it doesn't really matter what version you're downloading, it pretty much does the same thing across all versions. But once you've got it downloaded, you can just install it. It's a free, very simple and easy installation wizard. You'll then be able to plug in your microphone so plug in your microphone to your computer. Once you've got it plugged in, you can then go to search and just search for Audacity. And obviously if you've installed it, it will then appear. Once you open Audacity, it is a very simple software. You can click OK here. Now there are a few things you need to know. I'm going to give you the basic overview and you'll be on your way and be able to record in a couple of minutes. So go to audio setup, then go to recording device. Make sure that your microphone that you've plugged into your computer is shown here and selected. For me, that's my Rode NT-USB mic. If it isn't shown there, you are going to have to close out of Audacity and then reinstall your mic. For any troubleshooting, you will have to go to your volume settings and obviously enable it. But for most of you, plug your microphone in. It will be recognized by your computer and here you will see your microphone. Then go to playback device and change that to your headset. So I'm using my AirPods on my computer, so the playback is set to that. With that all sorted, you can click on the big red record button and it will then start recording audio. Now, pay attention to the audio levels up here. If this starts to spike and go into red, it means you're too close to your microphone. You want to aim for around minus six, as far as I understand. But yeah, you can increase or decrease this audio level. After you finish recording, click stop. Now you can edit your audio inside of Audacity, but for most of you, you'd probably just want to export it. To do that, go file, export audio. You can then choose the folder, the format and the file name. The format, you can choose all of these. I just export as WAV. Then once you've set those, click export and your audio will be exported. It is very simple and it is a very quick and easy solution to record audio.